33 days underwater. That's how long one visitor's iPhone was left in the ocean off Waikiki before it was found. Now, surprisingly, the phone still worked. The original owner was kayaking at the time and recording a video. Bryce Moore takes us on a journey underneath the surface. Zach Sigelko has kayaked before, but only on Minnesota's Great Lakes. Hawaii's waves, even 200 yards off Waikiki, are something he's not used to. So I was recording uh, some of the planes coming over. Um, you know, the Air Force planes are coming over top, and it was pretty neat just to capture that. You can see a bigger wave come, and I'm like, in my head, like, oh, here we go. And then you kind of tip over it. At that point, I was like trying to scramble, find my paddle, but I had my phone in my hand too. That was Zach's last full day of vacation. He returned home without his phone. Fast forward over a month and enter Dr. Carl Brookins. He's a retired fishery scientist who takes photos and puts them up along art on the zoo fence every weekend. Every so often, he'll take a dive. The bottom's, you know, pretty uniform out there. It's sandy with some rocks, and it's like, that's a square thing. And it, there's a pair of sunglasses sitting right next to it. I didn't expect this one to come back on because it was, it was starting to get too crusty. Just in case, he put it in a bag of rice and salt to suck out the moisture. A week later, he plugged it in. Charged it up and uh, turned it on, and there it said, December 21st. I found it on January 23rd. Now, according to Apple's website, iPhone 14s can be submerged at a maximum depth of six meters for up to 30 minutes. Now, the water that Zach dropped his phone in was much shallower, but for 33 days? I was in shock, one, that he found it, obviously. Two, that he was able to <laughs> log into the phone, uh, recover the video, and find my email address. To Zach's surprise, Dr. Brooken sent the phone back free of charge. I just send it away. It's good aloha, you know? If, if he wants to send me the, the cost of shipping it to him, that's fine, but checks in the mail for him, you know, a few extra bucks on top of the, the shipping and handling there. Um, so hopefully he gets that soon. <laughs> Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.